guys, welcome back to Romany's Realm. I'm Romany and today is Pagan Parcel Day. And in fact, we're going to have two. So you're going to get two videos today because I just received this one the other day and then I've just received my spell box this morning as well. So, yay, lots of goodies. This is the box that comes out at the end of April for Beltane. So obviously it's one of the greatest sabbats. We appear to have some white ribbon, which we're going to need probably for a, something in here. So Beltane, Fire Festival, Fertility Festival. It's the, the last of the three Fertility Festivals. So lots of good things going on. Here's all your Beltane correspondences. Huge, huge amount of flowers and herbs and scents and shrubs and all sorts of things. If you think of uh, Ostara as when you plant the seeds, Beltane is when they start coming up through the earth and you see those shoots and you're like, yes, here's my herbs, here's my flowers, here's my goodies coming for the summer. Unless you live in the UK and we've just had snow last week. Uh, but we're back to normal weather now by the sounds of it. Uh, we seem to be uh, back to the 20s for the weekend, so hopefully that will stay. As always, you've got all your correspondences, you've got your calendar, which they always provide you with. Great for beginners because it gives you all sorts of information from you know when the new moon is and all that kind of thing right the way through to, uh, for instance, what have we got here? The Day of Osiris for Egyptians, the Feast of Selene for the Greek. Uh, Italian spiritualist medium Giuseppe Palladino died 1918. So, you know, interesting people you can go and look up, interesting things to find out. It's worth reading these calendars for a bit of information. And let's have a look what's in our box. So I'm going to move it out of the way. I would think it'll all be very fiery and red. <laughs> so first up we have some incense of course. We've got incense for love for the fertility festival. This is scent red rose. That sounds nice. I've not come across that before and if you can see the packaging it's a wolf with a girl in red. It's, it's um, Red Riding Hood. I love this packaging. It's uh, artwork by Lisa Parker for Nemes Nemesis Now. Absolutely amazing work. Oh, it does smell very rosy. It smells like grandma's soap. That's what it's that's what it reminds me of. Lovely. What else have we got? Oh, this looks like marigolds. Yep, marigolds. Magical properties include prophecy, legal matters, psychic energy, seeing magical creatures, love, clairvoyance, dreams, business or legal affairs, attraction and renewing of personal energy. So it's a very good spring booster, basically. Yay, the sun's come back out. Let's let's get some energy going and get revved up. Also, if you aren't aware, all of Crafting Magic's herbs and flowers that they send are homegrown they they do all their herbs and flowers themselves and they're all food grade i did ask terry about that i said a while back i was going to ask they are food grade so you know if you can't think of a reason to use marigold in a spell sprinkle some of the petals on your salad it's very nice what else do we have Hawthorn tops. Now I know this is a death herb, so that's interesting. Ah, okay, it's a so it's it's associations is um major life changes. Hawthorn is associated with love, marriage, health, fertility, chastity, protection, and death. So basically, we got you covered. <laughs> Next up. Red and white candles, obviously, for Beltane. Fire and Truth. I 
Let's dig out our spells and see what this white ribbon is for. They're down at the bottom here. There's a nice um, Beltane for the Solitary Witch. Because obviously Beltane is, you know, fertility festival and it's about the god and goddess. It's very much about couples and things. A few little ways of celebrating Beltane if you're on your own. That's really nice. I like that. And this is a chakra healing exercise. Now that's cool. So it goes through all the different chakras, where they're located, what they do, what they relate to. How to do the chakra exercise. How to get in touch with the different chakras. How to use a pendulum for clearing blockages in your chakras. Well, that's interesting because we got a pendulum a couple of months ago. Cool. I haven't found a white ribbon reason yet. Maybe it's just there for the pretty. I don't know. What do we have? Oh, these are all goodies. Oh, I see a bit of carnelian there. Right, this this is rose petals and patchouli oil bath salts. Ah! Oh, that smell. Rose and patchouli is probably my favourite combination ever. Absolutely love it. Well, no, dragon's blood and patchouli is probably my favourite combination. That's what I, I wear, my perfume that I wear. But yeah, rose and patchouli, definitely one of my favourites. So, yep, a nice bit of carnelian there. So carnelian is an energy stone, so it's good for firing yourself up, getting your mojo going, creativity and passion and energy and self-esteem and, you know, giving yourself a boost. So... Yeah, nice. Oh, I like that. I do like a bit of carnelian. It's a lovely stone. Should be a card here somewhere. There we go. What else? Ooh, something in a purple pouch. Mm -mm. Interesting. What is this? Tumble stones. So we've got citrine, uh, moss agate, carnelian, hematite, sodalite, quartz, amethyst. Huh. Oh. I could have <laughs> I could have moved that. It tells me there. It tells you there what, what you've got and what they're for. So the oh these are your chakra stones. There we go. So that's part of your chakra exercise. Cool. That's awesome. I don't have any chakra stones. Well, not a, not a full set. Not and I. It's best to have them all the right the same size to work with them uh, for various different reasons because you know you, you're out of balance if you do something like that. So yeah, this is cool. Like it. Oh, I won't put that away just yet. Um, put that there. And we've got a box. A box. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, literally a box. This is pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Oh, I like it. I like it. This is lovely. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at that. I don't think these are hand handmade by Terry. He does make a lot of his own stuff, but this looks like it matches the other stuff that we've had, so and that wasn't handmade by him. 
but oh oh it feels lovely too there's no rough edges on it or anything very nice oh i think i shall oh, don't eat it with your bag of crisps that's the second of those i've had today yeah that'd be a nice place to keep your tumble stones i think i'm going to do that ha <laughs> ha so look at that fits perfectly my tumble stones pop that in there to keep them clean mm, 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 that's so lovely I love that oh that's gorgeous <laughs> Very, very nice. Wow. Rather impressed with that. So, yeah, all fire magic, all, you know, literally getting yourself fired up, getting revved up, promoting self-confidence and, and, yeah, just, oh, I love Beltane. When you come out of the winter and you're just fired up and ready to go. Fantastic. So there you go. That is the box that just came out from Pagan Parcel on craftingmagic.co.uk and I believe you can get back orders. So if you go onto their website, you can subscribe to the new box, which will be the new box at the end of May for June. And you can also purchase previous boxes as well on their back order site. So because they are a pop, they are a shop that does all this kind of thing. They're, so they have stock, so they are able to put together boxes. If you see a particular box that you like, you can go and order it. And if you can't see it online, you can go and ask Terry and he'll put something together for you. Fantastic. So there's your Pagan Parcel for the month. And very shortly, I shall go and open my spell box and you'll get to see that one today as well. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.